Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to demonstrate our new resource, Digital Expression Explorer, or DEE, is an effort to provide a user-friendly repository of processed RNA-seq data. All of our raw data was downloaded from NCBI's Sequence Read Archive, or SRA. We've analysed all the data with the same pipeline and made an easy to use web page to access it, so hopefully you'll find it useful. In this first video, I'll use a Windows laptop to quickly analyse a public RNA-seq gene expression dataset. To begin, open up your browser and point it to dee.bakeridi.edu.au. You'll see that we've catalogued RNA-seq data from nine important organisms. To get started, just select your organism of interest from the list and supply either accession numbers or keywords. Accession, multiple accession numbers can be supplied together, chained together with commas, and keywords are currently limited to single words, although these are case insensitive. In this demonstration, I'm going to, to demonstrate how to grab a Geo series accession number from Geo, paste that into the accession number box, select the appropriate organism from the list and hit submit. We'll be presented with a list of corresponding results and we can take a look at some of the metadata from SRA by using the hyperlinks. If we're happy with the sample selection, we can tick the boxes here and then hit the get counts button and that will be downloaded to our default downloads directory as a zip archive which we can extract using our decompression utility and we'll see that there's a matrix of gene expression counts as well as a file of logs. Let's just take a quick look at some of those logs for the first data set. It contains information such as where the data set was downloaded from the size of that SRA archive as well as the MD5 sum, whether it was base space or color space, single end or paired end, and then we'll have uh, a few fast Q reads here. Scrolling down a little bit, you'll see that there's a fast QC report which reports various uh, information about the quality of the data set. The second log file of interest here is a count of the number of reads that are successfully assigned to genes, as well as the reads excluded due to uh, mapping quality filtering or the lack of exonic features. Just going back to our count matrix, we're going to analyze this using a tool called Degust, which is online based. So to get started with that, put in your browser vicbioinformatics.com slash degust and upload your counts file. We'll upload the count matrix, which will just take a minute. So degust is a web-based tool designed for RNA-seq, which was developed by VLSCI and was originally written by David Powell. Okay, we have to give some information here about the data set. We need to give it a name, specify that it's a tab separated file. We need to specify that the ensemble ID will be our label for the gene. And we need to provide two sample groups. In this case, we'll call them control and treatment. And we select the appropriate data sets for each sample group. Once we're happy with the sample selection, we just hit the Save Changes button and the View button and this will start the analysis of the RNA-seq data with the Degust backend that uses the VoomLimmer um, RNA-seq pipeline in R. 
and then we'll just take a moment. Okay, what will appear is an MA plot, and so what it shows is on the x-axis the average log expression, so highly expressed genes will be on the right hand side of your graph, and on the left hand side we'll have the lowly expressed genes. The y-axis is the log fold change, and so your upregulated genes will be at the top of your graph, and at the bottom will be the downregulated genes. You can see that the uh, some of these points are highlighted in red, and those are the ones that are considered statistically significant at a false discovery adjusted p-value of 0.05 and in blue are the ones which are not statistically significant. And you can filter the data in various ways using these thresholds up here. One other plot that I wanted to show was the MDS plot. And this is a little bit like a principal component analysis in that the closeness of these points corresponds to the similarity or the correlation in the data itself. And what you'll see is on the left hand side the control samples are clustered together and on the right hand side of the graph are the treatment samples. Taking a look a little bit down in the window you'll see a list of some of the most statistically significant genes in this comparison. We can download the full list by hitting this download CSV button and that file will appear in our downloads file, downloads folder. Okay, so that's a pretty simple example of using DEE with Degust. But what you might find is that when you're providing keywords that are quite general, such as something like brain, you might pull up uh, a large number of data sets, in this case over 2,500, but the web server is currently limited to 500 data sets per search. So you just go back and you have two options. The first one is to uh, make your search a bit more strict. Use a different search term. And this number of data sets is pretty easy to download. And your other option, if you wanted to analyze many hundreds of data sets or even thousands, is to go over to our bulk data page and what you'll see is that for each organism that we've uh, catalogued data, you can download everything that we've processed that's uh, present in SRA. Okay, so that concludes our demo video. If you've got some feedback, suggestions or questions, you can contact us by email. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tool.